Hi there, I'm Andrew Cox. Welcome back to Home Easy. Today we're going to talk about designing your home. In the last of our videos we went through choosing a block of land, so in this particular video we're going to assume that you found your block of land and now you're in the process of wanting to design your new home. Um, this is not an exclusive list, uh, but I think we'll, we'll, we'll kick off by just saying that it is a very simple process. It may look difficult, however, you, you've really just got to focus on three things, regardless of where you are in the stage. One is to focus on what are you looking for? What are your needs in a house? That's extremely important that you work that out, and we'll show you a form a little later in this video about uh, showing you how easy that is to, de to determine. Uh, what is their lifestyle? How do you want to live in the home? That's extremely important as well. And most importantly, what's your budget? You've got to keep track of the budget. So you might have some very grandiose ideas about what you want in your home, however, your budget may not allow for that. So you're trying to sort that out up front, uh, preferably before you've bought your land, so you know that the total experience of building a home is going to be an enjoyable one. By most builders is perfect building land. Uh, we don't find any rock under the soil here, so construction costs are minimised. Very little peering required in, in all the properties at Mile Keys. So one of the first things to think about when you're designing your home is the footprint on the land. What that means is when you've got your block of land, uh, where is your house going to be positioned on the site and uh, things like do you need a site access for a boat or a caravan, uh, how steep's the driveway going to be with the home design you've got. These are very important considerations because you want to make sure you've got these sorted out up front uh, before you spend a lot of money building your home only to be... Uh, left in tears at the end that your beautiful boat doesn't go up the side or your caravan or whatever it happens to be. So access requirements are very, very important to consider. Um, any uh, builder or person who knows what they're doing selling you a block of land should be able to position the home on the site for you, show you up front before you invest in that home the how the house is going to be positioned on the site. You'll find a lot of the properties at Mile Keys have uh, being wide frontage blocks of land. Uh, there's plenty of room generally next door to the garage uh, to have a site access for a boat, uh, maybe a van. You find lots of properties here. There's an example of one with a gate there. Sometimes with triple garages, plenty of boats in the garages as you can see as we're driving past. Now let's talk about sunlight, breeze, uh, breezes, etc. Uh, views, uh, the, the, the noise around the home, roads, etc. There's a number of considerations uh, that you need to look at when you're designing a home. So if we start off, say, with the, with the aspect of the home and the family room. Now, if you're wanting to have a north-facing family room or uh, entertaining area, which is quite common in Australia, and you have a house or a builder that designs you a house flipped over the other way and they face south, uh, you need to really have a look at that builder if that's the advice that they're giving you, contrary to what you're actually looking for. Uh, a good example would be here at Tea Gardens, uh, we've got a beautiful sea breeze that rolls in off the, off the ocean all through the summer. Now we plan up homes here for people that have got, that can capture those breezes uh, properly and, and get them through the home to, to cool the home in the summertime. These are very important considerations. Moving on from there, uh, thinking about the views, what's the aspect? Um, if you have a, a beautiful view to the, the back of the property, say a nice reserve at the back and the kangaroos are hopping around or something like that, and you want to take advantage of that, well, you might need some larger windows or you might need to orient the room so you've got the, the aspect at the back of the home capturing the view that you want. It's often the reason you bought a block of land is you saw something particular that you liked or the outlook um, beyond the block and you've really got to th focus on getting a house designed to suit that to suit that environment. Now here we are in the Admiral's Point release at Mile Keys. This is the new land release. You can see in the background there that bush that's as it'll stay. So all these blocks here back out onto the reserve at the back there. You can see the nice street trees planted right throughout the estate very green area. In the background there is also the Mile River, about 400 metres in from, from the estate. 